One of the twins smothered the other twin in the womb. We'll name her Natalie. I know you were just a fetus, but is this close to your experience? From what I remember, yes. <laughs> We came up with the idea of what if they put on their own show based on pieces that they've written. What if we made it about ourselves for a change? Are you with me? <laughs> Barry, you're going to tell that story from Afghanistan. Barry's terrified that he has to now examine this thing that's kind of freaked him out. A lot of these things are kind of roiling around in him. Am I evil? Absolutely. Do I not tell you that enough? And I remember being in the writer's room going like, OK, he's going to have to kill Esther, and what if he doesn't? As he becomes more self-realized and is questioning his choices, would it affect his ability to kill people? Hi, Dad. Leo. Hi. Oh, what a lovely coincidence. We learned that Kusuna has a son and that he's was not a great father. We don't have a relationship, Dad, and I'm fine with that. I really am. Because he's had this experience with Moss, he realizes how fleeting it all is. He's trying to kind of grab onto something and make amends. Fuchs? And the writer's room will go, OK, so Fuchs turns on Barry. Instead of just, like, having that happen, you want to have it land in an interesting way. That seemed like the most natural thing. If the cops show up and say, if I find out that you're even slightly involved with this guy, you're going to prison. His instinct would be to say, OK, what do I have to do to make this yeah, go away? Yeah. And I don't think there was ever a moment where he wouldn't not turn on him. I can get him. Just give me another shot. <laughs>